Okay, so this chick thought her little brother was dead, but it's something far more sinister and disgusting. I'm excited. I'm excited to see something sinister. Leave a like on the video if you guys think ghosts exist, and let's get it going. <laughs> this amazing channel, Life of Luxury, is about to make us crap our pants. Let's get it on! My little brother took me past away. My dad's been acting really weird. What? Oh, God! What the... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell was that thing? That is so messed up, dude. This guy needs to learn to accept that his son is dead. <laughs> Jesus! Oh? oh my god. That is scarier than every puppet movie ever made. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was wild. That was one of the wildest things Hello, I've ever seen. Wax Army. Good, Smash good God. 1,000 likes for more new episodes. This guy's a legend. So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Millie whose little brother recently passed away. I don't trust Our anyone named Millie. Death, Millie has noticed strange changes in her father's behavior and appearance. She thinks that her dad has not been able to accept her little brother's death and the things that he's been doing are sick and go beyond grieving. Gnarly. She sent us this video for proof. At this point, your dad has Are lost you his marbles. Me? <laughs> <laughs> the dad no, being there somehow makes it scarier. It's okay. So tonight we're going to drive to her house and see what's going on. Let's go. Dude needs a straight jacket in a white padded room. Crazy bastard. Okay, so we're on the road right now, heading to Millie's house. Uh, how are you feeling about this? Bro, I don't even know why we're going here. Her brother's death is a family issue. I love how this guy uh, yeah, wears shades at night. I do that a lot too. Weird noises I don't want to see nothing. So what? Her dad not being able to cope emotionally is none of our business. We got plenty of other emails. Bro, you gotta stop viewing things so negatively. Just try to be excited that we're going here. From our text, she seems like a really nice girl. <laughs> what? Why do you sound like you just want to meet her? Seriously? Stop. Bro's got his priorities right. People are right. Think it through, man. She has boobs. You're right. You're right. Of course you're right. I can follow his leadership. We're gonna die, man. Boobs, bro. You're right. Damn it. You're always right. That, that road is freaky. Is right. Okay, okay. This this looks like this is it. Is it? Okay, I'll pull over. Dude, there's something off about this place. Whatever. Let's just go inside. Okay. These guys never bring guns everywhere they go. I respect it. He's clearly a respectable gentleman who wants to help. I'm bringing guns. Go knock. Okay. I don't care if ghosts are bulletproof. They make me feel better. At least like a rock salt shotgun straight out of Supernatural. Yeah, that's the logical thing right there. Did you just put rock salt in a Nerf bullet? Uh, hi. Are you Millie? Millie looks just yeah. as haunted as everyone else. Uh, you emailed us about your dad? Dude, what? Uh, we'll just come in now if that's okay. Okay. Insane. Okay. Insanity. The spirit of the boy has possessed Millie. I told you never trust anyone named Millie. I said it. I said it before this even started. Okay, Millie, thank you for letting us sit down with you. Hell no, anyone who has a yes. circular-ish wooden table can't be trusted. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about what's been going on in your house? So two months ago, my little brother Timmy passed away. It kind of happened randomly, and since then, my dad's been acting really weird. I gotta go pee. Woof! Um, that was so intense. Your dad's been really sad because his son died? Well, it's kind of more than that. That would be logical. I've been hearing some really awful noises coming from his workshop. Parents are often sad by well, such things. It's good that you're worried about your dad. He shows you an empathetic person. Thank you. My dad just You sly to dog. Timmy is dead. <laughs> What's creepy is the ghost or the voice sounds kind of ghosty. Like, it can't just be the dad. Dude, what's going on? Who are you? 
Carl, your new friend. <laughs> Let's all go play. Please. It would be hard to get friends over to your house with that kind of crap going on, you for sure. You want to play with me? <laughs> At least you could be mean to it and not feel bad because it's not a real person. Like, get out of here, loser! My dad's been dealing with my brother's death in a weird way. Uh, yeah. Um, we really want to help you guys. Uh, you mentioned something earlier about your dad's workshop. Uh, can we go check that out? Yeah, um, it's in the garage. You really shouldn't be messing with anything in there. My dad doesn't like when people touch his stuff. Yeah, uh, we'll be respectful. Uh, come on, Chester. Let's check it out. Okay. She is shooketh, bro. That's like the, Dude, the red going? flag of the Are century. My dad doesn't like people uh, touching his why stuff. Are you serious? Because what the hell was that thing? A puppet? I don't know. I think so. So her dad has a puppet named after his son who recently died? This guy needs to learn to accept that his son is dead. Dude, stop freaking out and keep it down. You're kind of being insensitive. Huh? Let's just go see what her dad's been doing in his workshop. Come on. Fine. I don't even know what insensitive means. Are you supposed to just blurt out whatever your heart feels all the time? Dude, what's in here? I don't know, but it smells. Okay. Dude, the FBI needs to check up on more civilians. I feel like this is crazy common. What? How are you guys in there? <laughs> He's building here. a boy! Sir, don't touch his stuff. This is the dark side behind Pinocchio that I don't really show often. Chester. Bro found the creepiest paper to write stuff on too. Like where do you even find that? What are you doing? Stop messing around. Bro, these drawings he has here are weird. What the hell is this? Listen. I don't know what that is, but we gotta go talk to Millie. Let's go. Chester's the only one with some damn sense around here. Come on. One eyeball's like visibly bigger than the other. Like the scariest of mismatched eyeballs. Which if you kill somebody, just take both of his eyeballs. I don't get it. I think this is her dad's room. Chester, come on. We gotta go. Hold on. <laughs> It's like the scariest haircut the dad could have had. What's going on? Just buzz it already. You lost your hair, man. Surrender. I just want to play, play, play. I don't want to play, Timmy. I'm tired. Dude, stop. Let him be. Oh, uh, hell no. <gasps> Bro, come on. What is that nub? Grow some fingers. We have to go. Dude, he has no hand. What? He has no hand. Come on, let's go talk to Millie. I'd feel a lot safer knowing the potential serial killer in the house has no hand. I have such an advantage in this fight already. Usually you should fight someone with a handicap, but I'm assuming he's gonna try to kill him by the end of the video. Hey, Millie. This looks even scarier than the dad's room. Are you feeling all right? Oh my god, he's turning her into a doll as so the kid becomes the livelihood. Dad's workshop, and we're gonna record your dad tonight to see what he's doing, but listen, I'm here right now, so you really have nothing to worry about. Subtle shoulder touching. I'm dead right now. I don't know if he's losing his mind or something. Bro, ask about his hand. I know he's sad about Timmy's death, but we both are. I just wish we could. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got a boyfriend. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, we're gonna go to bed. I knew it. <laughs> Wait, I'm to ask are one you thing, but a boyfriend, uh, I have yeah, a line. Let's talk about that in the morning when we review the footage. Let's go. Wait, what? Like, hey, just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. 
Look at this furniture, it's scariest furniture possible. Bro, what's the problem? I love how they always push so their pets together. Friend goals. Best friend yeah. spoon, bro. Just thinking. Well, listen, I was trying to tell you this earlier. When I was looking in the dad's room, he took off the puppet and he didn't have a hand. What? Dude, I don't know how he's been controlling the puppet. I just so realized that. How's he been controlling the puppet? We should get out of here. I was like, why is the yeah, no hand thing know. so important? Maybe I don't get it. Should. What? Well, like you said earlier, her brother's death and all this stuff is really more of a family issue. Wait, what? So you don't care about helping them? No, dude, it's not that. Huh? Listen, when we were talking to her in her room, I saw that she got a text on her phone from her boyfriend. So? So nothing. I'm agreeing with what you said earlier. If this is a family issue, then her boyfriend should be here dealing with this. Dude, why does her boyfriend matter? I'm saying I think there's something more going on here. Right, and her boyfriend should be the one who's giving emotional support to her and her dad. Man's Wait, making what? good oh, points. I'm over it. Let's just go to sleep, dude. Hopefully we'll get some good footage at least. Okay. They push the beds together, okay. but they don't spoon? What kind of friendship is that? We go to sleep. I do that often. Sometimes. Weekly. And sleep at 11.50? Wish I could do that. They did end up spooning. It's a happy ending. I once had a taxi driver with that same haircut. I was like, dude, just, I didn't say it, but I was just buzz it, man. Come on. God. At least little Timmy is made of incredibly flammable wood. You know what I'm saying? Throw him in a fireplace if he gets lippy. Wait, but ghosts always have that crazy super duper strength. The old throwing a paint can at your dad trick, a classic. They're in the surgery room too, trippy. The little bastards on the loose. <laughs> Like if I had to fight a possessed demonic little stuffed puppet doll, I might die in the battle, but so is he. We're both dying. Jesus, little beady eyes. Nearing 3 a.m., the witching hour. That'd be enough for me to get up. Dude, wake up. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is that, bro? I don't know. Come on. No, dude, let's get out. Let's see what that is. How do they just get up and get to action? I'm like, I need to go pee for like at least 18 minutes first. I think the noise is coming from here. Okay. Chester always gets messed with. You just freaking spear tackle him, bro. Oh, see, see, Timmy spear tackled him first. Chester, Chester. It was literally spear tackle or be spear tackled. Chester, feels like he's making love to him. Honestly, not as worse as what I thought. <laughs> 
gnarly, dude. <laughs> dude, are you okay? What did it do to you? Where the puppet go? Where the puppet go? That was a gangster kick. I'm, I'm with that. Well done, Chester. Is it going in the room? Jesus. Let's get it back. Okay, wait. So you don't want to go help her? Do you want to go in there? Whatever. Let's just go home. This feels like an issue for her boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Hurry. Let's go. Okay. Those are some vigorous puppet noises, man. <laughs> we escaped the house, ran to our car, and drove home. We have not heard from Millie or her father since. Probably should have called 911 or something. Hey, I get it. I, I, look, I like these guys as a pair. I like them as a pair of ghost hunters. This guy's heroic and sensitive and cares for, well, as long as they're single. Once they have a boyfriend, he just leaves them to die. But that is respectable. <laughs> Either way, this was freaky. There's no scarier way for the, like, the soul of a dead little sibling to come back as other than in a doll. That's like the universal scariest crap. Check out this amazing channel. Link down below in the description for more of their scary stuff. Leave a like subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>